let us see how to create a formula type question in Moodle. This is the home page of e-learning. Go to the question bank. I am going to questions. I will choose a category. Then we will go to create a new question. In this box, choose the formulas. So note this icon. This means it is a formula type question. Click on add. These are the parameters to be filled in. So we will give a question name. I already have 10 questions here. So this is my 11th question. Area of a triangle. So we will define the variables here. I am going to give the base and height. So B is my first random variable. I have to open this double bracket, give a starting value. I'm going to give five, then put a colon, the ending value, let it be 25 with a step value of one. That means it will take values from five up to 25 with a gap of one, any value. Put a semicolon at the end, then define the next random variable H equal to, I'm going to start at 10, then stop at 70 with a gap of two. That's it. Here you don't need to put any semicolon at the end. So we have defined two random variables here. Let's see it closer. So starting value, then put a full colon, then the ending value, then a full colon, then the step value. Now we will go to the main text. So type the question text there. Base is B centimeter and height h centimeter here you have to type the variables within double bracket okay the way the question text is ready now come to the part one section this is the mark for the question okay the answer type is number we have many options there time being we will keep it as number now you have to write the formula there so the formula is half bh that is the area of the triangle so 0 0.5 into b into h that's all you don't need to enclose the variables in double bracket here in the answer just write the variable and the formula as it is now we will keep the relative error equal to zero that means there is no freedom for the student you should key in the exact answer itself if a 0 0.01 mistake, then the answer is treated as wrong. So the relative error is zero. Now in the parts text, you can keep all these things blank time being. In the parts text, you should give a title. Let us see where this one comes. That's all. You have given all the details. Click save changes. Your question will be ready in the question bank. Let's see the preview. Click preview. The question will come. And you see where the area equal to came this is the answer box now let's find the answer answer is 7 into 12 by 2 7 into 12 by 2 you got 42 so you will end up 42 here submit and finish that's the correct answer let's see another preview now the answer is 15 into 30 by 2 the answer is 225 I'm going to enter 226 that will be treated as a wrong answer. Now close the preview.